Welcome to L.D. Smith, the High Priest of Israel Bible Quiz. This Bible quiz is a Monday podcast teaching. The answers will be given at the end of the quiz. Grab something to write on, pause the video if you need to, and have fun. 1. According to the High Priest, who will save the people of Israel? A. Jesus. B. Moses. C. The High Priest. D. Yah God. 2. In the lesson, the High Priest references Deuteronomy 32:36. What does this verse emphasize? A. The importance of sacrifices. B. God's promise to repent and save his people without needing Jesus. C. The power of prayer. D. The coming of a new prophet. 3. What criticism does the high priest make about Christian practices? A. They are not based on the Old Testament. B. They focus too much on the New Testament. C. They are ineffective in bringing real help and salvation. D. They don't honor Yah correctly. 4. The high priest argues that the only one who can deliver and save people is A. Jesus. B. Elijah. C. Yah. God. D. The high priest himself. 5. Who does the high priest claim will be sent before the great and dreadful day of the Lord? A. Jesus. B. Moses. C. Elijah. D. Abraham. 6. What action does the high priest urge the Hebrew Israelites to take for their salvation? A. Pray to Jesus. B. Seek help from political leaders. C. Cry out to Yah, the God of the Hebrew Israelites. D. Make sacrifices in the temple. 7. How does the high priest describe his own calling to deliver this message? A. As a personal choice. B. As a divine command, similar to a biblical prophet. C. As a response to popular demand. D. As a traditional role passed down from his ancestors. 8. According to the lesson, what must happen for true change to occur for the Hebrew Israelites? A. The election of a new leader. B. A collective cry to Yah. C. The building of a new temple. D. An alliance with other nations. 9. What does the high priest say about other gods or figures, including Jesus and Yeshua? A. They are all part of God's plan. B. They are not real and cannot help. C. They are lesser gods. D. They will eventually come to help. 10. What is the significance of Malachi 4 in the high priest's message? A. It predicts the coming of Jesus. B. It confirms that Elijah, not Jesus, will be sent by God. C. It outlines the steps for salvation. D. It discusses the end of the world. Here are the answers to the Bible quiz. 1. According to the high priest, who will save the people of Israel? D. Yah God. 2. In the lesson, the high priest references Deuteronomy 32, 36. What does this verse emphasize? B. God's promise to repent and save his people without needing Jesus. 3. What criticism does the high priest make about Christian practices? C. They are ineffective in bringing real help and salvation. 4. The high priest argues that the only one who can deliver and save people is C. Yah. 5. Who does the high priest claim will be sent before the great and dreadful day of the Lord? C. Elijah. 6. What action does the high priest urge the Hebrew Israelites to take for their salvation? C. Cry out to Yah, the God of the Hebrew Israelites. 7. How does the high priest describe his own calling to deliver this message? B. As a divine command, similar to a biblical prophet. 8. According to the lesson, what must happen for true change to occur for the Hebrew Israelites? B. A collective cry to Yah. 9. What does the high priest say about other gods or figures including Jesus and Yeshua? B. They are not real and cannot help. 10. What is the significance of Malachi 4 in the high priest's message? B. It confirms that Elijah, not Jesus, will be sent by God. This quiz reflects the key points from the lesson as taught by L.D. Smith, the high priest over the whole house of Israel. Shalom family.